Hi, I'm Omar Fernandez, Director of Strategy and Operations at GitLab. Um, I'm here today with Professor Gershenfeld. Professor, could you share with us a little bit more about who you are, what you do? Yeah, I'm Neil Gershenfeld. I have a few hats and almost everything I do ends up happening in GitLab. A dear colleague in the Fab Lab network started telling me about GitLab, GitLab, and he wouldn't shut up about it. And as an experiment, I started up a GitLab installation at the lab I run, and then just sort of people voted with their feet or with their fingers. <clears throat> and we were running maybe 10 different servers and services that all got swallowed up in it. The obvious thing they do is we manage repos, we do web serving, CI, CD pipelines, issue tracking, uh, Kanban boards. Uh, what's less usual is uh, one use case is classes. So we use GitLab as a learning management system. So the students create sites and communicate and you know, build content and we track their work all in GitLab. And then the lab I run manages an unusual facility with one of almost every tool of any size to make anything. So nano, meso, micro, macro structures. Uh, so you know, millions of dollars in machines and at any one time, hundreds of users. And we use GitLab to manage tools and spaces. So every machine is a GitLab project and then every space is a GitLab project. And in addition to the thousands of fab labs, we're now creating larger super labs. And the uh, uh, current one we're doing is with Bhutan around the idea of gross national happiness. What's been special about GitLab that led you to move into that direction? We had one solution for web serving, one for teaching classes, one for access control, one for um, you know, documenting machines, you know, one for a security safety system. E each of those was a separate service. And um, we were able to you know, build all of those in GitLab. And so, yeah, for why GitLab? It, I'd say one piece is at the bottom, it's all, it's repos all the way down. And so in the end, having distributed version control as the scaffolding, you know, sort of anything we put in a repo we could erect on top of it. That's part of it. You know, part of it is mm. the way that it's um, open and extensible. Um, part is you've done a good job on documentation. It's really well documented. Um, and I think also part of it is it's flexible, but not too flexible, meaning you haven't tried to build a system of everything. It has enough scaffolding to do these jobs, but it was pretty easy to set up to do them. When we think about the value proposition of GitLab, we think about faster, more efficient, more secure. Um, for you personally, as you've worked with GitLab or you've seen your students, what has been the benefit for you? Has it, has it made your life better in any way? So it's almost hard to answer just because it's like, you know, why do I like air? It's just sort of, you know, most of my work ends up in GitLab. It's just sort of in, you know, natural part of my working day.